Okay, hi guys. Uh, as I've mentioned before, my name is Shainash and I come from the Team Eagle group of the English development. And um, we are going to take a look at the continuation of the accessibility of shuttle bus services for students in UTHM. So, like I said before, we have taken a deep dive uh, into this issue. We have gotten a rough idea, sorry, not rough, actually a detailed idea on how we are going to tackle this issue. But how exactly are we going to achieve this goal by getting the student's response? So how? Because student's response is everything in our project. They are the main engine of our project. Without them, without getting their feedback, without getting their, their input, this project will be a failure because we are actually assessing the accessibility of shuttle bus services for students and only students in UPHM would know better about this issue. Hence, we have prepared a short survey, survey as uh, through Google form to be distributed to the students. And let's take a look at the content of the survey. That's what we are going to take a look at right now. So basically, we would, uh, we would spread this Google form or spread this survey through WhatsApp, through class groups, through Telegram, and various social media so that we can get the maximum yield out of it. So the accessibility, as the accessibility of shuttle bus services for students in UTHM. And the first question we would ask the student is their gender. The second question is their faculty and their year of study to get the rough idea. So the year of study is really important in this project because we would compare the answers, we would compare the ideas on how the previous students, uh, students, senior students who are in UTHM even longer feel about the bus services and also a new view uh, by asking juniors, first year students on how they actually feel compared to their, uh, I know it's their first time of uh, attending a university, sorry, I know it's the first time of, I know it's their first time of uh, coming to UTHM to study, but I'm pretty sure they have gone to various seminars during the UPSR, SPM and all, to various public universities. So they might have a different idea or different expectation on how uh, uni should have their shuttle bus services and everything. So we would get another point of view based on the juniors. So the year of study is actually really important in our uh, project. So the section B is to identify the time consistency bus services among UTHM students and also to investigate the number of UTHM students coming late to class and staying back. So how often do you use the bus in UTHM is the first question in section B. What would you like to improve the bus services in UTHM? Buses in UTHM should shorten the time interval between every stop. How often are you late due to bus not being in schedule, on schedule? So the answers would usually be often, sometimes rarely, or never, or daily, couple of times a week. And that is section D. Section C, we will take a look at the objective two, to understand the student satisfaction with the cleanliness of bus equipment. So, the first question in section C is, are the equipment in the bus in good condition? Example, the air conditioning, standing passenger. How would you rate the cleanliness of the bus in UTHM? And that's about it. So, thank you. And this is our main Google form and main goal of the Google form. Thank you. And we'll meet again.